sharp. We will have green flag racing coming up shortly. Here's the field. And Jeff Ward, you're looking at him at the bottom of your screen, the Yahoo machine, and he has been awfully tough. The second place finish in Indianapolis. Currently leading the Pep Boys Indy Racing League standings, and he has yet to win a career victory. And of course, the Scott Goodyear has one victory to his name so far this year. The field pulling away out of turn four. The honorary start tonight, John Cronin, the Texas Attorney General with a green flag, and we go racing. The Longhorn 500 underway. First lap, Dismore stretches out his lead as he jumps in, Ari. I think it's Scott Goodyear in the lead right now. Uh, Scott Sharp, I'm sorry, took the lead. Actually jumped the start a little bit over his teammate, Mark Dismore. And I'm sure Mark wasn't too pleased about that. But hey, since he's a teammate, he's not going to really complain about it. But if it would have been somebody else, he would have. Here's the look. There was the look when you're leading in the early going in the Longhorn 500. But the man that deserves the call is there's your one-two combination. See the yellow and red car? That is Greg Ray, and on the break, he turned the wick up, and he is closing in for that NASCAR-style draft by Mark Dismore. And Jeff Ward has also moved up into fifth position from his starting position, and uh, Jeff is always an outstanding starter. Mark Dismore, and there's the challenger, Greg Ray. Greg Ray says that the way to initiate a pass here is to literally tuck the nose cone of your car up underneath the rear gearbox. Now, that's to be the signal for us to see if Ray's going to try and make that pass on Dismore. Well, you have to be really close because there's not a lot of difference in speed. Like these front runners, they're all probably flat out right now. And flat out is flat out for everybody, so it's really difficult to pass. And as you can see, we've got a group of cars, five cars in front. Three laps now completed, and Jeff Ward in that Yahoo purple and white yellow car starting to climb his way through some traffic. Yeah, Ward's moving up close to the four guys in front, and uh, they're already drafting pretty good right now. And as you can see, the whole field is still pretty close after several laps. You know, the drivers tell me that they want to free the car up. We've talked about it in qualifying. We talk about it throughout the course of the race. What does that mean? Well, in Indianapolis, Ari, the difference between the ride height, between the ground and the side pod and the underwing that creates the downforce, you'd have to stuff about five credit cards to fill that area. Here, take those credit cards, put them in a fat wallet with pictures of your family, and you can actually slide <laughs> that wallet underneath. You don't want as much downforce here. That's right. At Indianapolis, to free the car up, you take out wing. But in, uh, at these tracks, the wings are set. The IRL has set them at six degrees with a one-inch wicker. You can't do anything with the wings, so you can't free it up with that. So you will start raising the right height of the car. Lead pack of five cars now. There's no. Ward. Yes, look at Ward looking to the outside now, trying to make a move. And Greg Ray trying to go into second, but uh, Dismore closes the door. And Ward is getting a run on Tyce Carlson going into three. There he is, moving on the inside. A nice move, looking out the back of Dismore now, Greg Ray. That's the yellow car trailing from behind. Now in fourth place is Jeff Ward. Cheever has just moved past Tice Carlson. The Pennzoil car, Scott Goodyear. And he's looking in his mirror, and that's a kind of what he sees. That's Kenny Breck in the power team car. This is the battle for fifth position. Tice Carlson is being posted in the fifth spot. He's in that white, red, and purple car. That purple and yellow car, that is Billy Boat in sixth. And here comes Goodyear on the inside of Sam Schmidt. Goodyear in the yellow car, Schmidt in that black and white 99. Everybody's dicing back and forth, Ari. It looks almost like a sparring match. Basically, we've got 12 guys in the lead group. They're not very, very close, but they are close. Back up front, here's your race leaders. That's Scott Sharp. He is first, followed closely by his teammate, Mark Dismore. And on the outside, it's Jeff Ward thinking about making a pass. They're even, running two abreast now. Jeff Ward is pretty high coming off the two and uh, going to tuck right in behind Greg Ray again. Penzoil telemetry. The speed, 213 miles an hour for the Delphi machine. As we can see, he's actually getting out of the throttle. Right here, you, you can see... He's getting out, and now he's back full throttle again. And don't forget, we've dropped the revs from 10,300 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway to 10,000. So you'll see it edge close, maybe 9,600, 9,800, but you don't want to get to 10, because then the IRL rev limiter kicks in, and that's disaster. 
Jeff Ward running low. The Yahoo machine there trying to get around Greg Ray. 12 seconds now covering the whole field. Some, some very competitive racing early on as we complete the 11th lap. Hey, fellas, start to watch the infinity with Eddie Cheever. Cheever in the 51, the children's beverage group special. He's running that infinity engine that he had in the lead at the Indianapolis 500 at about the 300-mile mark. How long is this race just tonight? About 300 miles. He's currently being shown in that fifth spot. There he is, that blue, red, and yellow stripe number 51. Started fifth, currently running in fifth place, Eddie Cheever. What's really good about the guys right out there right now, nobody's doing any foolish things. Everybody's kind of lining up behind each other. Because if you dare to go and try to make the pass, the guy on behind you can pick up his rack off of the two cars and go right by you. Nice Carlson challenging Cheever now for fifth position. You know, you talk about this racetrack, 1.5 miles, 24 degree banks. What we're watching right now in this battle for fifth, Tyce Carlson on the inside, Cheever on the outside, directly behind Cheever in that purple and yellow car, so close as they are. That's what this kind of racing's all about. You flat foot it, and you've got to be brave. Greg Ray says it's like being a gladiator in the 21st century. We're going to go 208 laps today. 195 left to go. We're thankful you're with us here tonight for some great racing. Scott Sharp is your leader. He has led from the start. I think a big thing tonight is going to be pit stops are going to be really crucial. Track position is almost everything right now. Because you can't... A guy running in 10th right now, he's not just going to go up to first that easy. I tell you what, watch the Yahoo machine, the purple and white car. He's been trying to hound Greg Ray in that yellow number two with the red side panels, the Menard Glidden machine. But he can't do too much, Ari, because if he has a miscue, Tice Carlson will go downstairs and get that position. And Tice in the beginning draw back a little bit, but come back strong. We're watching Jeff Ward there running a, a pretty high line there, Ari. I was kind of surprised he's getting up that high. And you can do that around this track. This is pretty much a two-groove uh, racetrack. Got some smoke coming from the 30 car. We're watching the pits now as they go to work right now. Racing back to the front of the pack. Tough break for Jimmy Kite. He decided he was going to come here with Dennis McCormick. And uh, that car, uh, one of the great things about young Kite out of Georgia is he proposed to his fiance on Carburation Day at Indianapolis in front of 100,000 people. All right, Scott Sharp is your race leader as they come to the start. And uh, 16 laps completed here on Fox Sports Net. We'll be right back.